we got some beer. <laughs> yeah, we do. Uh, this is still um, this is the second part of the the shipment that Titanka Brewing Company sent us of their beer. Um, they sent us four different kinds last time. What did we try? The Rooster, Rooster Red Tail Ale, mm-hmm. or something along those lines. Yep. And an IPA that you the really the middle liked. of nowhere IPA that I loved. And it sounds like I, I don't think there's going to be an easy way for me to get more of that without like physically going there. So uh, maybe I'll just have to physically go there. It's like a four hour drive, but <laughs> it's literally uh, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe that's a part of the name. Let us know, <laughs> Titanka. But tonight, I'm really excited. We've got two more Titanka beers to try we have the buffalo creek brown which i think uh jeff and titanka said this is another one of their pretty popular ones um and then evan it's that time of year again it sure is i'm wearing a sweatshirt for the first time (laughs) it's like 40 (laughs) degrees outside right now it's finally fall and that means that it's oktoberfest time yeah and i mean oktoberfest for me starts in like july sure (laughs) (laughs) and it doesn't end until like june yeah but you know for for beer you know (laughs) (laughs) but uh no we get to try their tyktoberfest martzen lager Mm -hmm. so i'm really excited about that one yeah so i think we're gonna are we both gonna start off with the buffalo creek brown yeah Yeah, that works Um, for me and then we'll probably mid-episode switch over to the tyktoberfest already it looks good yeah, and I like a good brown as well. Again, you know me. I like a beer that's not trying to do too much. It just tastes like beer. Yeah. Um, maybe has a little bit of that malty characteristic, which I think this brown will. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. It's very brown. Very dark, yeah. V, <laughs> very amber. <laughs> if you've ever seen uh, Will Ferrell's Davenport sign video from probably more than 10 years ago at this point i didn't scroll i we didn't I was, scroll you was, totally cheated you got so excited for this excited. brown ale all right let's fake it i guess now scroll, scroll. <laughs> you're gonna like it it's good mm, there's like some chocolatey notes in there like oh yeah cocoa vibes it's oh, a yeah. great fall beer that is super good yep i can definitely tell why jeff said that this is one of their more popular ones Man, this is good. My goodness. And Evan, can I compliment you really quick? Your pour was fantastic. Hey, look thanks. at that. Yeah. You still got some head retention there and you've poured it now more than a minute ago. I'm getting there. Congrats. We need to school that again. School. Man, this is a really good beer. Thank you, Titanka. Um, if you haven't tried this one out, even if you only kind of like beer, he, this is one that I feel like most people would like. Um, it's really flavorful, pretty dark in, in a good way. Um, it's not like super thick. Uh, the flavor's perfect for a brown ale. I, I, that's that's as much as I can say without going over the top, I guess. It's, it's malty, but it's got some chocolatey notes to it. It's rich, it's complex, but it's also just like straightforward. Mm-hmm. And, and again, I like a good, simple, straightforward beer. This is good stuff. I yeah. would have a few of these for sure. And what is it? 5.4%. You could have a few of these and, and not be ruining your, your day tomorrow. So yeah, yeah, really good beer. Um, wish I had a few more. Yeah. I think we just need to go take a trip to Titanka and, and stock up because we, they haven't missed so far. I agree. three for three for me so far. So, yep. Thank well, you guys. Let's crack you know, open the Tyktoberfest. I'm, I'm super excited about this one. I'm almost slightly concerned because when we first pulled these out of the fridge, they felt like they had some give to it. Yeah, that was I, weird. I'm hoping it's that it's a, um, it's just like a, a volume thing, and they're not. There's a little bit more room in there. What I'm I'm hoping it isn't is that it's like a an issue with the beer. I don't think it will be because we haven't seen that yet. Well, it's certainly not flat. I can yeah, tell I you can that. already see that. So that's a good thing. How did I do on that pour, dude? Not, not too bad, dude. You're getting there that's that's darn near perfect and hey flashback we're going back to the good old football mugs or glasses we keep doing that it's nice to have a few different types of glasses so that when we mix it up and we have two different beers we don't have to like deal with the flavor of the old beer yeah well can i can i be honest with you i like the the newer stein the larger glasses that we've got but 
if I if I'm being honest, I think I prefer the football glasses. They are pretty cool. I, I think it and just it just feels good. If we can figure out how to get our our logo on the side there, I thought I thought we had something going with that. Well, we're working on it. All right, all it's right. still in the works. All right. Well, all that to say, we're about to try the Titoberfest from Titanka, which I need some. Do you have any reason, any idea why it's spelled T Y K E Titoberfest? I don't know. No, nope, I have no idea. I initially thought it was for Titanka, but Titanka spelled T I T, not T Y. So I don't know. Maybe uh, Jeff, if you're listening, hey, I told you um, Jeff from Titanka. He was the one that bought the other shirt. Yeah, you yeah, did. yeah. You did. Uh, yeah, last so week I think. There's there's a chance you might be listening right now. If you're listening, give us give us some details about the Titoberfest. Maybe it's like a common thing and we're just oblivious to it i don't know but enlighten right. us yeah jeff and in the meantime we're gonna try this out let's try this out let's go cool. got a nice little ring there oh yeah Ooh. okay there's nothing wrong with this beer <laughs> I, I i think it i don't know what mm. it was they just gave a little bit more when you squeeze the can this is delicious um the, the head kind of went away really quick for both of us, but that's okay. This is really good. It's surprisingly sweet for yeah. an Oktoberfest. It it's has like, a little bit of a like a sweet aftertaste, which I really, really like, actually. Mm-hmm. And it's it's got a lighter flavor. It's still The flavor is still full and it's there, but it's mm-hmm. maybe it is that sweetness that you're getting. It's, it's not as, I don't know, deep and... It's certainly not like as complex as the brown that we just had um that was dark and malty and chocolatey Mm -hmm. and complex in those ways this is complex in a lighter like this is more of a like a fall like a sunny fall day yeah like it's it's you're going apple picking on a saturday and this is what you're gonna pick up it's like a nice refreshing usually i wouldn't say an oktoberfest is like like refreshing you know what i mean like yeah. a like a energizing boost you know this this is in in a good way but it's still an oktoberfest it still has that that fall e vibes it's not like a, a citrusy ipa or anything like that um and it does say it's a martz and lager so i mean maybe that adds to it but 5.6 percent Mm-hmm. Um, if I if I had tried this blind and you asked me to point out the liquid just from the taste, I would I'd picture something very much lighter in color. It's got a really good good caramel color to it, but the flavor's light and refreshing and still an Oktoberfest. It's yeah. pretty unique. I don't know if I've ever really tried one like this. You definitely get some caramel notes in the kind of like the the aftertaste mm-hmm. as well. Like it has the maltiness, but maybe that's the sweetness. Is there some caramel in there that is contributing to that? It's yeah. is super good. A very unique Oktoberfest, one that I would definitely have again. Oh, a hundred percent, absolutely. And one that doesn't taste like any other that this, I've had. This is maybe this is unique. It's a it's a crushable Oktoberfest, and not that Oktoberfests are usually like eight or ten percent beers, but. At five percent, it tastes like a four percenter. Yeah, it kind of does in a really good way. This is, I mean, you're you feel like you're going to be able to crush a bunch of these if you really want it. It doesn't feel. It's not like super boozy. It's not super yeah. in your face. A light, so. refreshing Oktoberfest, which I feel like you don't hear all the time. Good job, Titanka. This is. I feel like we're both like not weirded out but like surprised pleasantly surprised by this we're definitely gonna need to take a pilgrimage to to titanka what are you doing right now (laughs) when you open titanka we'll we'll be there i gotta work tomorrow but that's we'll figure it out you just call in nobody will know yeah (laughs) nobody will know i'm gonna speak for myself i think i'm speaking for you too all four of these titanka beers that we tried the rooster red um and i'm, I'm probably not going to get these names 100 percent right the the rooster red what was the other one we tried the somewhere or um, middle of nowhere middle of IPA. nowhere um and then tonight we tried the buffalo creek brown and the tyktoberfest for me they're for four, four for four outstanding if i was going to rank them the same way you rank on untapped which is like a zero to five i'd give all of them above a 4.5 um they're all really good uh this tyktoberfest kind of tripped me out by being a legit oktoberfest but like a refreshing one 
and it's that's super good. What do you think about the uh, Techtoberfest? Oh, I loved it. Um, again, had that like the hint of caramel in it, which just kind of intensified the like the fall vibes of it. Like it was already a solid Oktoberfest, mm-hmm. and then to have that little aftertaste of caramel is like that's it. This is maybe one of the best fall beers I've ever had. And uh, what about the Buffalo Creek Brown? What'd you think? Also really good. More complex, uh, in my opinion, had some maltiness, had some chocolatiness. It was dark. It had some body to it. Really good, though. Definitely would have a few of those, for sure. Yeah, and I absolutely agree with everything you just said. I think anything else I'd say would just sound fake and disingenuous because i'd be you know just gushing over these because again we've only tried four of titankas for me all four of them were you know amazing i would gladly have all four of them again especially that middle of nowhere that ipa was freaking delicious Mm. thank you Uh, again thank you jeff from titanka go check them out i know they're they're a little bit off the beaten path um, even as iowa breweries go um but if you're anywhere near take the drive go go visit them check them out uh they're delicious we need to figure out how we're gonna go and when really when we're gonna go (laughs) coming up on like thanksgiving and christmas when i'll have a little more time off of work so we'll figure it out sounds like we'll figure out even a day trip that'll happen that'll happen 